So my brother had to tell me that Corey Kitchen was getting attacked by Nikocado Avocado. And I'm like saying, what? Did he breathe at him too hard? I, I just I just want to know. So I so he sent me the video. Not that I asked him to. In fact, I try to stay away from Nikocado Avocado stuff because all he does is breed misery. Everything he touches breaks. Gets destroyed. It melts around him. He thinks that as long as he's got eyes on him, the attention is good. But ain't all attention good attention. So let's see the travesty of... Let's see the Travis Scott Park uh, epidemic that is this video. Oh, he's blinking a whole bunch. Yep, yep. He sort of looks like... Uh, uh, a light going on and off that, that isn't a, a malfunctioning light that nobody ever fixed. I would say that he has daddy issues, but he seems like he ate his father. And he claps. And uh, his shirt is literally just made up of himself. I would love to say how vain it is, but clearly he's self-aware. That's why I've been staying away from this, but... You don't attack Corey Kenshin without a Corey Kenshin fan hopping on this. I tried staying away. I tried staying away. Well, you mess with the Shogun. Okay. Okay, so you clap for about 11 seconds. For about a second, you, you, you start drumming on your thighs, I assume. Was that the sound of your, of your thighs? That dum 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 uh, and, and then you talk about your website. Uh, I admit, I admit, if you want to put your website out there, fine. But continue your little mukbangs and all that. Your mukbangs are not what I prefer. In fact, your entire YouTube channel is not what I prefer. I, I see you doing your thing out there. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to attack you. Granted, you're going to see what I'm saying as attacking, but still. Uh, it's bad enough that I have to uh, react to low-hanging fruit that is one of your several chins, sir. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this. And I know for a fact you're going to say I'm fat shaming. Ah, oh, water weight. What did you drink? The ocean? Just like when you eat some cake, it ain't going anywhere else but your butt. And yes, I, I'm speaking as an overweight person as well, but I watched some of your videos before, and I said, thank God I'm not like him. I know I'm a hot mess. I'm not lampshading it, I know. But the thing is, I try to exercise. But you're at the point, Nikocado Avocado. And, and my brother my brother said, you're at the point where if you exercise, you ain't coming back. Like, this this is uh this is your eight hundred pound life, my guy. And that shirt, that red shirt ain't helping you with nothing, I'm sorry. What are you mad? For did, did you order a salad and they gave you a salad? Did you order a deep fried salad and they said, "Sir, we don't do that." It's the Wendy's. Because if you want a deep fried salad, you could go down to McDonald's. I'm pretty sure they could hook you up with something. You look like uh, I would like to say you would look like one of McDonald's best customers, but I doubt they would even serve you anymore. And you just put Corey Kitchen. Okay, first of all, he's a bigger YouTuber than you. Second of all, he doesn't need you to piggyback off him. In fact, you making this video is you piggyback off of, is you uh, doing the, the same thing that you're accusing him for. Which, I'm not going to lampshade it again, stating the obvious. I'm doing that as well. I'm not going to look through this entire video because it's just going to be you pandering like how you do. Maybe I'll watch the whole video, and if it, and if so, I'm not gonna fucking edit it. 
I'm just going to post it up there as one fat video, you know, one big piece of duty on the life of a YouTuber, you know, that's what you're trying to do. You're flinging your poop at him and he's the show good. He's got to, he's got to parry that stuff back at you. But the thing is, because Corey is the way that he is, he ain't going to do nothing. He's going to let it just sit there or he might talk about it in a video. But regardless, at the end of the day, we're all people. Even though you, Nikakata Avocado, look like you're made up of 50 peoples, people, people, I. It's funny that your name is Avocado because you look like you don't eat fruits nor vegetables. A sloppy, lazy bum. You know, I could make a joke about how he's a lazy bum, but the only joke here is him and his hairdo. Sir, you look like Jimmy Neutron from Uber Eats. You look like the Jimmy Neutron from DoorDash. If I have a picture, if I feel inclined, I'll put it up, but you know the one. You know the one from the DoorDash or Uber Eats ad. I don't know which. Money. You think Corey Kenshin needs your charity? He has loving fans. He has res respect, which is something you'll never get. I know you've never heard of it, and I know you've never seen it. When I say the word respect to you, you 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 might think, oh yeah, that's like a pile of chicken nuggets or something. No, 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 no. Respect is where people care about you and worry about you. The only reason why people watch your content is to make is to look at you play the fool and I know you're self-aware and I know you act like you don't care but somewhere deep down in that hole that you're filling with food resonates a, a human being somewhere I'm gonna try to believe that but this video might prove me wrong Okay, okay, uh, at least come back with some actual evidence. I know you're allergic to evidence and it makes you break out in hives and pretty much you're as fake as, uh, as, uh, what's the name of that? Oh yeah, Nikocado Avocado. Yeah, that's going to be a new word. You're as fake as a Nikocado Avocado. Yeah. I'm just, I, I, I know that you get in fights with people all the time and that's your thing, but you open Pandora's box and just like Icarus, your chicken wings will melt, sir, going to, go, going through the gauntlet. If you think you get hate now, you made a big mistake. I predicted that. I predict that at some point his video is going to get deleted by himself or by it getting flagged so much. And then all of his videos are going to get uh, copyright claimed for some reason. Because this is Corey. Corey freaking Kenshin. Jesus Christ, man. I don't believe that you have legs, sir. 100%. I think that you just roll everywhere. Don't be talking about people not having a leg to stand on when you barely use your own. Mr. I roll in the store. They see me rolling looking ass. Mr. M Mr. Looking like, looking like a fucking, uh, what's the name of that game? Uh, I keep forgetting because I keep staring at his face and I just draw a blank. All the intelligence for my brain just leaks out. Uh, he looks like a an enemy from Little Nightmares. That's what he looks like. He looks like one of those NPC creatures that was that would eat the kid in Little Nightmares. You, that, that's what you are. I I found you, Nikocado Avocado. You're that. You're one of those weird creatures that tried to kill. Uh, Sasha Six in Little Nightmares.
If you have stronger legs to stand on, then why do you need to sit in a chair? I know that you... Dude, dude, dude. I would say take a seat, take several seats, but it looks like you have. And again, it sounds like I'm fat shaming, which I'm, which I don't really believe that that's even a thing. First of all, second of all, you're a dick. I'm not attacking anybody else. I'm not trying to attack you. Fourth of all, you see his thumbs? See, see his thumbs? See those stubby little sausage sausages he calls thumbs and fingers? And the chin? This is not the chin of a thinker, people. This is the chin of a mouth breather of the lowest regard. He's And, and when he opens his mouth, he looks like a baby bird begging for food. Except this baby bird would have eaten his mother and then crapped her out and begged for more food and then proceeded to eat his own crap. Here's what I think happened. Uh, Corey Kenshin must have watched one of Nikaka Avocado's videos by accident. Uh, being the mad lad that he is, probably said something nice about Nikaka Avocado and that and this little gremlin, this little hobgoblin saw it and decided to open his mouth. Lord, that mouth is big. That wang warmer you call a mouth, sir. And I can say that because I am by So, although I, although sometimes I could be considered gay, but lean more to buy, I, I'm very confused most of the time but the fact of the matter is what what really confuses me is how are you still on youtube and if i look at your fucking subscribers let me see let me let me see how many fucking subscribers this dude has he might fucking sicken me might fucking sicken me and yeah i was watching anime before that was jujitsu kaisen which is which will be 10 billion times more interesting than this Dude, didn't you have like 300 something subscribers before? You only have 2.77 million. You had like 3 million something. Last time I checked, your subs took a nose dive. Jesus Christ. On all of your channels, Corey Kitchen beats you. That's what Zachary told me. Corey Kitchen beats him on all of his chat for subs and videos and content and all that. But I will give you this, uh, Nick Avocado. You beat Corey consecutively in shit. In shit tossing. I'll give you that. You, just like a monkey at the zoo, you, pet, you pitch sit to the best degree. Great. And we ain't, this is just a minute. And I bet you're wondering, why is the video taking so long? Why am I pandering? I don't know. Why the fuck is he? Oh, here we go. Fat phobic. <laughs> Clap. Why are you trying to chuck other people at a problem that doesn't even exist? I bet people in the in your community hate you. You shame you, you shame communities. Anything, that, any project that would have your name on it, that would be the kiss of death with that cheese-stained mouth of yours. And yes, the We Love Cheese song is stuck in my fucking head. And some songs can only be removed with uh, mental uh, medication prescriptions, aka banging your head up against a fucking wall for 30 minutes, which is the same damage that would get done to you by watching part of his videos. Corey Kenshin doesn't pay anybody to edit for him. He does it himself. If you are in fact still talking about Corey Kenshin and if you're talking about people paying people to edit and you can't that's because nobody will touch your shit. Take it from me. I can't get anybody to edit for me, not because of some of the some of the bullshit that I do, but because I believe that I'm cursed 
and I believe that you are a walking, talking curse incarnate. You look like Java the Gut. I call you Java the Gut because look at you, shave your head, put on some earrings, you could be Java the Hut's cousin. Gut. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Another another person that you're trying to fuck over. Corey Kenshin. Looking drippy as always, my guy. Each video that you make, Nekikado, is somehow record-breaking at being worse than the last. It's just one disgrace after the other with you. I don't know what type of brood mother you had, but it's gotta be it's gotta be some terrible creature that crawled from underneath the fridge like a roach and it ran back as soon as it squeezed you out of its uh, orifices, ran into a crevasse and just chose to be stuck there like a gut torn rabbit in a wooden thicket after giving birth to you. It just decided that it made such a bad mistake that it dug itself back in the dirt. Yep. Greedy. The guy who gives and gives and gives and he's greedy. I bet, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad Nick Akabako because the fact to be able to lie like this it's just a talent. You would make uh, uh, Tokichi, I, I believe that's his name, Tokichi and Danganronpa grimace. You know the lying dude and Danganronpa. Grimace with cringe. You make cringe cringe. Seriously, why, why, why are you still on this platform? Like, seriously, if you, if you... I know this is one of the ways that you make your money, and Lord knows you can't work normally, because look at you. But, all I see when I look at you is a twisted mirror of every terrible YouTuber out there. Just pour it into a bowl, and then, then j it just made you... Just morph. You're like the gross jar creature from Amazing World of Gumball. And if you're wondering why I keep rehashing stuff, it's because that's what his videos are. That's what they are. Don't touch him with your sausage fingers! You're gonna get his clothes dirty with your sorrow and disappointment! Don't make Corey smell like disappointment. Which is what he's doing exactly here. I mean, I'm not saying that people in YouTube use you for view bait and that YouTube isn't really paying attention to stuff. All they care about is the views. They don't really care about the likes as much. But you are 100% of view whore. There I said it. You don't care what happens to people. And just so you know, when I said, I, I'm not saying that YouTube and all that stuff, I was being sarcastic. And I know that you're trying to be sarcastic, but you're doing it fucking wrong, you moron. Like a drowning animal, you will pull everyone under before you even seek help. And by the time you want to seek help, it's going to be too late. I don't know. Why are you doing that? Innocent, nice people don't have to blink and call themselves innocent, nice people. People are innocent because they just they just leak innocence. When I look at you, I it you just remind me of the shit that I took last night. 
ugly, disgusting, oily, and mostly filled with cheese. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you, you, you bleeped yourself. That was an adorable bleep. If only you, you, you could bleep this whole video with just a baby crying because that's all it is. This, surprisingly, Meat Canyon's video looks better than you in real life and that's sad because at least then, at least then you turned into like a good person. I'm not saying you look good on the outside, but you were sort of decent on the inside, which you sort of look like a decaying orange. I mean, on the inside. Like, if you ever open up an orange that's rotten on the inside, you just find just garbage. Imagine, imagine, you, you, you open up a fruit, and inside it's a turd. How disappointed would you be? Because, let me tell you, you get the same amount of disappointment by watching one of his videos. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sell your merch. It's because he can't stop acting anymore. He has to keep it up, which ironically, I'm pretty sure he can't even keep, up, keep it up in the bedroom, but he can keep this shit up longer than anything else. This man probably just shits out the food that he eats, like, straight. His digestive tract doesn't even work anymore. It's just, he eats a Imagine he eats a ham and the ham comes out the same way, just smelling of shit. But it looks the same because he he sold his stomach for views. That's what I'm. That's, that's the situation I'm imagining. And if somebody out there wants to animate this, feel free. This video is probably gonna get taken down and flagged. And if you're saying I'm doing this for money, I don't even make money on YouTube. <laughs> this is completely free. I'll, for, for free! I'm doing this for free! Basically, all my stuff is non-profit, unlike you. So try and say that I'm doing this for money. Try! I, w I would love to do that. I would love to see you try. Come on, snake! Are you talking about where he was raised? I know we all can't be raised at the bottom of a turd mound in a barn filled filled around with farting barn animals like you. But Corey Kenshin was raised in a great house. He has great parents. They He has people who care about him. And I know you haven't noticed anything about love. And when you think about love, you think of cheese. And let me tell you, cheese is not love. Calories are not love, even though they will be with you forever. Yeah, because you're mentally unwell. And I will say it first of all, I'm not mentally good upstairs. Yeah, I have to I have to get in contact with therapists. That's why sometimes videos are like haywire, like all the time they're haywire. Because I have to keep like balancing my sanity as well as everything else and also the fact that I have to edit for myself which really takes the fun out of making the videos I complain a lot and I just don't want it I just don't want to be like that and if I if I have to record a video if I feel like I want to record a video then I'll record it if I don't feel like that and I don't have the right energy for it then I don't and this is making me wish that I didn't record this shit I'm going to skip pretty damn soon. I'm going to skip hardest bit. Why would I want a cameo? Oh, is this, is this reminding you of the days when you weren't such a big blob of mayonnaise on the bread of society? You, I will admit, you do have a good smile and your eyes don't look nearly as evil and your eyebrows are kind of okay. The hair was going almost, the hair hasn't gone full neutron yet. But I do hate the fact that we have a similar hair pattern. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck was that? Oh! What's with these glasses, sir? Also, the nose is...
pretty big. Can you, I, have a, I have a small nose, so could you lend me some nose? Also, also, smile game on fleek. I'll, I'll admit that. Don't roll your eyes. Oh, God, I paused at the right time. Look, his face is sinking in like a uh, uh, reverse pancake or an inverted waffle. You want to know what an inverted waffle would look like? So the fuck do I. But this is what his face looks like. You, you, you ever seen uh, the old Tom and Jerry cartoons where they hit somebody in the face with a frying pan? That's what that looks like. Oh, God! You bring shame to muckbangers, and they already have enough shame, so can you please take your shame train somewhere else? Why did you make a second video on this when you had already made one? Are, are you just trying to milk it for all it's worth? I don't usually stutter unless I'm really upset. I know that you love cheese and you're trying to milk everything for it. And Lord knows you probably milk some of the people in your comment section that say anything good about you. But damn. Damn. I bet if I look in your comment section right now, there wouldn't be one nice comment. I, I, I talked about how I wish that you were that you would be okay and that you were doing good and other comments just tried to guide me into into changing the comment they told me what you were about and I just thought you were some dude doing an act on YouTube being a be, being like that trying to be funny and all that because it's one thing if you're doing an act and that still makes you a dick and that's coming from me who does everything improv style. But this shit needs to stop. Okay? Okay, Nikki? Okay, Big Nikki? Okay? I don't even need to say anything. Moist critical. Okay. Uh, are, are you, uh, I don't want to insult, I don't want to insult people, so I'm not going to say what I, what I was thinking, but were you, uh, I'm going to say this though, were you an unwanted pregnancy? I mean, I know you are now, but did your mother drink when she had you? Drink uh, uh, pool water and bleach. I mean, if I was your mother and I saw the future and I knew I was going to have you, I'd be drinking bleach. I'd be bombing down Jaeger bombs. I would be running up the stairs, falling up the stairs, falling down the stairs. Not to kill you. No, 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 to cripple you. Because I'm pretty sure your mother did everything that she could to, to give you a good life. And this is how you repay humanity for birthing you. Your brood mother found you a good enough host to just lay you in. And then you come out and just say, cheese, and then run behind the fridge waiting for, waiting for someone to open it. And as soon as they did, you turned into this. Uh, do, do you even live in a house? Or is that just behind an olive garden until I actually see an actual house, a full shot of your house? I don't believe you live in a house. I believe you live in some type of facility. <laughs> some type of fucking facility, bro. This perfectly white room doesn't fit you. They, they have in common that they exist. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, 
Charlie talks about in a sarcastic way uh, about you, Nikocado Avocado. He didn't use any harsh language towards you, I'm pretty sure. He didn't want to because that's just how he is. Corey probably tried to help you out. Several people tried to help you out, probably, and you uh, just shit in their mouth like this. You know what? You know, we're just going to skip over a bit to just see how long it takes for him to get to the food. Up, up. He, he, he's got the food now. Don't forget about the Takis, you know. Farmers. I thought he was actually going to eat fruits and vegetables with my dumb ass. Talking about farmers. The only farmers he knows is, uh. Farm and fork is farm fork to mouth, not not uh not uh farm to table. No, no fork to mouth. That's all he knows. A greasy sack. Onion rings. It looks like a prolax rectum. Ugh, I hate ranch personally. I just hate it. I I didn't know that he loved ranch. People know me, and they know that I fucking hate ranch. I won't have it near me. I've ended friendships over people who like ranch. <laughs> I'm sort of a petty type dude like that. But nowadays, I don't, I don't literally care if you like ranch, you like what you like. I'm not going to attack you because you like ranch. Imagine if I made this entire video attacking him because he liked ranch. Imagine. Wow. Is that zucchini? Okay, he is eating vegetables, sort of. But can you call these vegetables? Watch him call this a salad. It fell on the ground and now you're going to cry about it. Just like a baby who throws his bottle on the ground and can't understand why gravity works the way it is. Why gravity works the way it does. I'm dropping IQ points. I need to end this video sooner rather than later. Okay, uh, you saw about Corey again. Also, he curses during this video. Ironically, he curses while talking about a dude who doesn't even curse at all. The smacking sound. You are legitimately a disgusting being. Uh, I don't want to follow anything of yours. Let's just skip this. Just skip this. 54 minutes. You look like you just shit yourself. I would love to see him talk shit about me talking shit about it. Because I'm such a small channel that it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. Nick, go ahead. Prove my point. Prove to everybody how petty you are. Come at me. And if you don't, that shows me that you are a decent person. <laughs> I can't, I can't lie like that. <laughs> Determining. You mean it determines? I'm pretty sure determining is a word, but I'm just going to say that it's not. And if I'm, and if I'm actually right that it's not, let me know in the comment section. Please don't just disagree to this dude. Don't go to his channel to give him hate or anything. 
By the way, I know I waited 34 minutes to say that, but he didn't say that about Corey Kenshin at all, so I'm being the bigger man still. Which I know is hard for me to be the bigger man because look at this guy. He looks like he could eat 12 of me and still be hungry. It's because you sat on it. That's why the world is collapsing. You, you didn't even finish the food and this is your video. Huge hamburger, by the way. To court. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God, 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 God get you. God get your butter jack soda levels high. You know, gotta get your butt soda high. God forbid if you get your damn fat levels too damn low, you might, you might starve to death. You miss one meal, Nikki. You know. save you why couldn't you save me and you know and everybody else and just for once shut the fuck up i'm gonna be harsh here shut up save what little credibility you have on youtube and just stop go back to making mukbang stay out of drama and everything because i know i know that you know that i know that you're just here to piss everybody off but one of these days it's going to get you hurt and I don't want to have to see another youtuber out there gone from the world I saw uh, a friend of mine who was a youtuber who ended up getting a game ended in real life because he got into drama I don't want to have to see you do the same thing even though you're going after Corey Kenshin I don't want to see anything bad happen to you Hell, I don't care what you have to do. Being that weight, being that weight level is not that healthy. I know that if that you have to keep eating to do the views, but you could jump cut and just not eat the fucking food, man. You could jump cut, and I know it's not a mukbang anymore. Neither is it, is it still a mukbang when you're just shitting on people and just eating the shit and killing yourself. If, do, if you don't do it for, for the people around you, at least do it for yourself. At least do it to be around. Hell, do, do it to keep yourself around so you can shit talk people more. Because this just seems de like, like you're just drowning in depression. And odds are you're not even going to watch the full video if you do even watch this at all. So, yeah, let's just kiss this goodnight. Let's just kiss this video goodnight. Did he fart? What? Lie around and fart more? Run around like... Uh, uh, blink? Blink a whole bunch? Aggressively blink, 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 blink? Yeah, he... he at least he called spade a spade. What? What are you going to do to round this off? Frightening. Yeah. When he when he opened his mouth before, I felt like I could see something. Like I felt like I could see his stomach because that's how wide it goes down. I'm surprised he can eat anything because his neck just sort of fuses together between shoulder and neck right about here. And there's jelly roll. You see he's trying to save on uh, pounds for the winter. Oh wait, no, 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 no. He he's actually right. It's not fat. It's just hate. See you guys later. Bye bye. And let me know what you think about Nikocado Avocado. And if you're wondering why I said those last things, it's because I'm calling him out a bit. I'm calling him out a bit. I'm calling him out as BS. I do want him to be safe. I actually do care about him as a human. As a human being. Not like I know him personally at all, or would want to know him personally. It's just that I see a guy drowning in misery, and I'm trying to throw him a rope. That's all. Bye, guys.